So you're thinking about moving to Corpus Christi, Texas, and you're wanting to know where certain things are, you know, just kind of like what areas, where the areas are at. Well, you're like, that's what this video is all about. I'm going to take you into the, into the Google Maps and I'm going to show you around the area. So that way you can see what's, what's where and how it's situated. Uh, show you some of the major streets and, and things like that and just different areas, you know, of the Corpus Christi area itself. And we're going to get to it right after this. So if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of Corpus Christi, Texas, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification so you'll be the first to know what's going on in the Corpus Christi market. Hi, my name is Steve. Our team gets calls and emails from people just like you every day looking to move to Corpus Christi, Texas, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're wanting to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'll be glad to help you make this move move to Corpus Christi, Texas. So, okay, I'm going to take you under the maps now and start showing you around the, the Corpus Christi area. I'm going to bring it in right now. So here we go. Let's let some stuff get out of the way. All right. Well, Corpus Christi here, you can see it. Um, this is the bridge, uh, just the causeway to Portland. And... Corpus kind of borders like right here at Port Aransas back this way towards Mustang Island. Um, this is Padre Island, uh, North Padre Island. This area is Flower Bluff. Corpus, you know, Flower Bluff is, is used to be separate from it. It still has its own ISD over here. So you do have Flower Bluff ISD. Uh, I will do some more uh, information on the different schools around here. Um, then you kind of, this is 358, which is also called uh, South Padre Island Drive is what we mostly call it around here. And then this is Crosstown right here, going through that way, sorry about that. Then you come up around over this way and it kind of turns right about in here. It turns into NPID, North Padre Island. So just if you're looking for some addresses over that way, I just want you to kind of know that. And then 44 right here heads out towards uh, Robstown and those areas over that way. Then you come on, then you come out and you get onto 37 and uh, 37 brings you over here to 77, which is now fixing to be uh, Interstate 69 East. So this area over here is Cal Allen. Um, and then this little dots right here is the Nueces River coming into this area over here, which feeds into the Nueces Bay back here. So as you can see, we're pretty much surrounded by water. And then there's, they're just now starting over in this area over here. They're starting to do they They've got some building going on over here. Then, uh, I'll blow it up here in a second and show you where uh london is and everything matter of fact i'll just go ahead and do that right now we'll just go ahead and kind of go in here so this even though it shows okay so here's the botanical gardens so you've got a couple subdivisions over here right here that are um that are uh what you know, this is called the south side this is part of the south side here all this over this way you got Yorktown. this is staples coming through you got south texas botanical gardens there then you got king estates and i can't remember the other subdivision there's two of them right there but most of these over here on this side here they're half to one acre uh lots over here same thing over here one acre to half most of this has already been built up. They are adding a new road over here that I just saw the other day that they're adding up that they started working on it. Uh, I didn't know what they were actually gonna do, but then you come back over here. Uh, this 286, that was part of Crosstown up here. It kind of dead ends there, but then you come over here and here's London, uh, the London Independent School District, the London area. This subdivision has been here a little bit longer this subdivision right here all in this area right here is uh all brand new uh subdivision they're just now starting to build all this stuff over here right behind the uh right behind the uh school here um so anyway uh 
let's go over here. We'll go back. I'm actually going to kind of, you got some little areas over here too that, that, um, you can, you know, this is all off of what this is Saratoga, uh, Greenwood actually, oh, there it is. Greenwood Saratoga runs on out. You got South Texas, uh, it used to be South Texas Speedway, but now it's the South Texas Race Ranch. If you want to go out there, there you can kind of see some pictures. You can go out there and uh, watch the races and whatnot. Uh, let's get back over here. Let's go back to, uh, let me go back over here. Okay, this is Cal Island here. So this was the Nueces River that, that uh, you saw here. Um, there's actually, I do believe it's right here. There's a little park area out here, yeah. Uh, Basil, uh, Hazel Baysmore Park. Uh, you can go out there. There's trails, uh, bird watching. There's a boat ramp. There's kayak ramp. If you want to go uh, kayaking or boating up and down the river, up, up and down here, I will tell you that uh, if you're going to be doing fishing and stuff out there and going to be kayaking and stuff down this river, you got to watch out for water moccasins. There are water moccasins out there. So here's the Rivers Hill Country Club, which has got the golf course in it uh, over here. Um, I'm not for sure what you've got to do to become a member of that. Uh, I would have to check that out for you. Um, but this is all Cal Allen here. Uh, you got a Home Depot out here, Starbucks out here, Chick-fil-A. Um, Mike Cotton Barbecue, that has got some good barbecue there. If they're holding tradition, when you go over there and get your barbecue, they do not bring you plates. It just comes out on a on a um, uh, butcher's paper type deal, wax paper, and that's what they put your food on. Um, there's a little Mexican restaurant right over in here. I think it's right over here by Starbucks. And I can't remember the name of it now, but man, it is really good. Maybe if I blow it up, I can find it. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Uh, El, 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 put it going up. This one right here, El uh, Tapito. Tapito, it, it's more authentic, really authentic style Mexican restaurant, Mexican food. Really, really good. And then you got the Cal Island High School right here. Um, Cal Island Movies Inc. Or Movies Inc. Cal Island. I'm not, I don't know if that's actually a movie theater or what that is there. I haven't been to that. So I couldn't honestly tell you. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, Got another school here, Windsor. Uh, I do believe that's the, no, that's the nursing home. I'm sorry, but there's another school. Oh, there's the administration office. There is an elementary school right over here in here too. And Cal Island has its own ISD also. So did, uh, so did London. London is actually not part of Corpus Christi. Cal Island used to not be part of Corpus Christi, but it was annexed in. Uh, I want to say it was back in the 70s, somewhere right around there. So you got all this land over here that nothing's being developed on right now. It's all just uh, a lot of it's farm ranch land over there. But you can like, like here, you can see this is all swamp land over here. Uh, this is Nueces Bay. There's a lot of orchard reefs and stuff back up in here. It comes out. Here's where Nueces River comes out. This is all the Port of Corpus Christi. This is where you're going to have all your refineries. We are a big industrial town. We are a really big industrial town. Um, and I didn't show you this. So you got coming out of Cal Allen on 70, you got Robstown, which is just outside of just outside of Corpus Christi. It has its own ISD, its own little area. But if you uh, it, there's some place, houses and stuff over here that are actually in Robstown, but it's in the Cal Island School District. They set, they share the Cal Island School District. Um, then you got Banchetti way out here, uh, North San Pedro. It's there's really not a whole lot there. That's just a little video area just outside of outside of Robstown. But let's get back to the Corpus Christi. So from Cal Island, here's the International Airport. Same thing with Robstown. From Robstown to International Airport, you're probably talking. Um, 10 minutes at the most if you even uh, maybe 15 if they have bad traffic uh cal allen you can either come down this way hit 44 and get over there so you're talking an extra extra five minutes to get over to the uh airport um and then 
This is the Northwest city, uh, Northwest Corpus Christi, all this area right up here. This is all Cal Island, Northwest. Cal Island is actually Cal Island, but this is just the Northwest end, which is Annabelle and Teloso Midway. There is Teloso Midway School right there, Teloso Midway School, and it is its own ISD. Um, so it's not part of the Corpus Christi ISD. So if you're looking in the Teloso and Annabelle area, you would want to look up that school. I'm not real for sure where the boundary cutoff. I will try to find some maps later on for boundary cutoffs for each one of the schools. And I will talk about them and what area they're in and give you the school boundaries. Um, then you come over here. This is 37 going, uh, going over to North Beach, uh, but 37. Like I said, all this is industrial uh, refineries, industrial stuff, and this is the Port of Corpus Christi. So that's that's why you, you know, this is where all the ships and stuff come in. Um, then you hit, then you've got Central City, Central City over here, which also has West Oso High School, and West Oso is its own independent school district also, but, <clears throat> I don't know. I do believe all of this is West Oso over here. Um, and there's a lot of, this is, let's see, where's Leopard at? Let's see. This is Leopard right here. I, no, no, that's not Leopard. That's uh, Ag, uh, Agnes. Yeah, Agnes. This is Agnes going through right here. So Agnes right here. There's a lot of there's a lot of businesses on there that supply for the industrial end of it. You got old Robstown area over here. This is all upriver. This area over here is the old, old, old Corpus Christi. Some of the houses in there are really old, but there are some really nice houses over there. It's um, I, you know, it's just kind of not where everybody's going to right now. Um, there needs to be. I mean, I can't say nothing bad or good about it, but you know, I would tell you to look it up and everything then you get over here and you get down in this area so you've got this where there's cold park christus Pond hospital that is the one of the main hospitals the bigger hospitals here in corpus christi um then you've got cold park hester's cafe at six points really good this is six points right here i'll kind of bring it up just a little bit. This is where airs and whatnot. And they are doing a lot of, there's a lot of uh, investment opportunities in this area because one, you've got the hospital right there. This is Ocean Drive and I will talk more about Ocean Drive. Uh, I will actually do a whole nother um, video on that Ocean Drive. This is, uh, this right here is McGee Beach and you've got this little shoreline area and you can park there's parking on here this is where the um they they changed all this a while back this this all used to run right along here but they changed it up now it's a one way uh you can come into it and then it's one way to shoreline boulevard but it, they actually put it uh moved it the main traffic over here on south shoreline this this part of boulevard then you've got uh you and I stay to see food. That's a good little place. Oh, there's a water burger. You know, always know there's a water burger in Corpus. Um, but so you got this is kind of this is your downtown area right here. This is uptown, right in here, and then this is downtown right here. Which then you've got all the T heads, got L head. Uh, I can't remember if this is Lawrence. One of they they, they got different little names for each one of them. Lawrence. Uh, the T heads, or the, I think that one's just, you know, like this is the, I just saw it, it popped up. Uh, People Street T head right there, which you've got Harrison's Landing and you got Landry Seafood. Um, then you come over here and this is all marina. So this is all boat slips and stuff in there. Matter of fact, you know what I'll do? I'll turn it over to satellite view so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let's go to, uh, there we go. Let's get out of that. So this is People Street T head. I did shoot a video here. To, no, no, it was over here. I'm sorry. This is where Joe's Crab Shack's at. This is Lawrence Street T Head. And like I said, it's all marina and it's protected. It's got this little barrier island or barrier uh, bulkhead that they put up. Some of these are actually barrier islands over here. Like these are actually barrier islands there, but these are bulkheads they put up to keep the keep the waves down 
in here and got Lawrence T head and then you got Cooper's alley. Those are the three. Uh, let me get back into layers. Let me get back into this, this. So anyway, and then we're going to kind of cruise on. This is, uh, this is cross town here. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here to North beach. North beach has the USS Lexington right here. And it also has the Texas state aquarium. Um, and you can, there is a boulevard, oops, there is a boulevard that you can drive down, but you cannot drive on the beach over here. This is all, um, no, no driving. Then you come on down over this way and then you've got, this is all, all beach area. And they keep a pretty good job of maintaining it. They're doing a new, uh, deal right here. It's going to be, I do believe it's going to be an RV, RV park here. Then you have a little turnaround causeway and then you've got houses over here also and then this leads on straight on over to portland which and i'm not going to get into portland right now but we'll finish up corpus christi and kind of go go on through there let's see here um then you get into the bay area and over here you've got del mar district and then bay area and then everything here is south side and I've got a couple of videos on Southside and Southside goes all the way out, out here, um, throughout this area here. This is all Southside here. So you've got, this is the major streets here. So I'm gonna kind of just kind of go through this for you. This is 358. You got Ocean Drive, which goes all the way out to the Naval Base, but there is a gate right over here. And usually they don't have that gate open. Uh, usually you have to come in on three flower bluff area. So you've got ocean drive, which comes into Ennis Jocelyn and that area over there. Uh, then you've got Holly, which is a main road, which has got a lot of different businesses on it. Then you've got Saratoga, which is a main main, um, which has got businesses on either side. There is subdivisions back here, of course. Then you just kind of go on through now Yorktown. This is where everybody's moving to. You got chopping eggs. Uh, you got all kinds. You got all, all, all different kinds of stuff. You got Domino's Pizza. You got uh, Buffalo Wild Wings over here. Um, and then you got some, the subdivisions back here. This is all older subdivision. Not older. And I say older. I'm talking uh, 90s, uh, early mid 90s subdivision over here then this is all king's crossing over here uh, on this side of yorktown and uh also parkway going through here this is all king's crossing used to have a golf course and a country club but i don't know i don't ever know what happened to that one i never i never found out why they shut it down but they did but it all goes all the way back over to here then you've got uh the cimarron area this is all Cimarron Estates I do believe is what they call it over here from from the, right here Bison on uh, then you got Bill Will Park this is where they do all their soccer games and uh base they have baseball games over here this area over here this is all blowing up but this is the Oso River so Oso Creek which so you're kind of stuck there unless they put a bridge over it somewhere uh then you've got this starting here this is all um uh, all this area back here is um rancho vista area back here back over here uh in this area here so that you'll see i've done some stuff out here on the rancho vista area then you have um the azali neighborhood that went in over here, which if I remember right, it does come through, turn here, and it kind of winds back all up into this area over here. Uh, come on down Yorktown, which now, right now, you cannot cross this bridge because at the time of this video, the bridge is under construction. They're doing some work to it. So the only way to get over is through the Oso Bridge over here. This is called the Mud Bridge, and this is the Oso Bridge. Um, and then you got uh, the Oso. Oh yeah, let's let's talk about this neighborhood over this area over here. So this is all off of Oso Parkway. There's different little neighborhoods back over in here. Um, that this 
over here. Let's see, let's kind of blow this up. So also Parkway comes all the way this way. Because uh, it comes through, turns, it comes from mansions and then turns into also Parkway again. Comes back over here. This, they're building new housing in here, really a whole bunch of new housing in there. Uh, but also Park comes over here and then you got the also Park wetlands. And there's different trails and paths to go through all this um, to, to get in there. They've got a learning center. They've got a little playground over here, a parking lot over in this area. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to turn it into the into this so you can see. You got the parking area here. You got the uh, Oso Bay Wetlands Preserve playground, and then the learning center uh, over here. Then uh, let's see here. Then you got, see all these little trails. These are all trails here that go through there. You can come over here. This is that Osprey Outlook, but you got the part of the Oso here. This used to be a train track that went through here and they, it's all been torn down. They're talking about putting a bridge right here, a pedestrian bridge where you can kind of walk over here. And I think they're going to do some stuff over in this area. I'm not real for sure. I've, I've heard some stories about it, but you know, until it starts coming to tuition, uh, I don't, you know, I'm not going to say that it's going to happen. Here's uh, coming through this, like I said, this is SPID right here. It goes all the way through to Flower Bluff. Then you come out here, want a good little restaurant to go to, uh, Black Diamond Oyster Bar, really good little place to eat. For the kiddos, you got in the in the game fun trackers right here. You got your Walmart here, Jumping World for the for kiddos. Jumping World does have a little bar, so if you want to go drop your kids off while they jump and go have a drink, you can do that. Play pool, this that, and do whatever you want to. So then you've got NAS Corpus Christi, which is uh, Lexington Boulevard here, NAS Drive, which comes off and goes into. This is where most people come in and out. So during the during the uh, hour work hours, traffic hours, it's pretty congested over here. It's hard to get in and out. Most people just kind of go the back back way and get out, go the back way this way and get out. You do have some, this is Lakeshore Drive right here, and or Lakeside Drive. This one here, there is some waterfront houses, or water view houses, not waterfront, water view houses over here. Then you, like I said, this is all Flower Bluff over here. Flower Bluff Drive, Walgren are the main ones through here. Then you've got, uh, you got your seat here. Let me go back down. Sorry, I'm trying not to make y'all busy by climbing in and out and stuff. You got Flower Bluff Drive, you got In the Game Fun Tracker. They just built a uh, Chick fil A right there, so you'll have that. And you got HEB uh, right over here is Walmart. And then right over here this is uh this road here is laguna shores coming through all the way through here you've got uh redhead wildlife management there i don't know if they've kept them up to date or not i need to check on that and uh but they do did have some little areas over here where you could actually uh if that's the right one let's make sure i'm at the right spot yeah yeah so there, you you had some uh, little observatory platforms out there that you could go to, and it comes on down. This is the tropical estates. This is the canals out here on uh, on the on the uh, in Flower Bluff, and then you got Walter Field right over here, which is part of the Navy uh, training. Over here, you've got soccer fields, baseball fields, and they play uh, practice football and stuff like that over there also. Then you've got, like I said, tropical isles that come back up here. So what is, look, there's some pluses and minus on these tropical isles. If you can get a house on these canals right here, this right here is the KOA campground. This is a uh, RV park and everything that's put in. They have their own little boat ramp and they're part of the, got part of the canal. But if you live on either one of these canals here, right here you can uh get your bigger boats in there you may have a little if you got a real big boat you may have a little bit harder time turning around in here but if you know what you're doing you can do it, it it's doable 
here you got a little bit of a turn basin down here but they you know, like i said this is all this part over here does not belong to this part over here so it's all different so anyway that's enough of that i'm just kind of going over the overview then you come down here you've got uh the marina over here where you've got some boat slips then you got these canals over here this is all uh little condos well they Used to be apartments, but now they're they're condo styles. Same, uh, and then uh, you've got your water coming in. You got your canals coming in here. There's a good bit. That's a big turn basin right there. So if you wanted to get big boats in and out of here, you could. A little, a little easier than you can over there in the other spot. Then I'm gonna kind of reduce it down, and then I'm gonna take you. This is uh, still three uh, three fifty eight SPID. Comes all the way into here right about in here in this area it turns into park road 22 but this is all north padre island drive right here this is all the canal homes and stuff like that uh, and they vary in different price ranges usually your ones that are kind of out here on these tips here and right over here because they're easier to get in and out uh they're, they're you know you're gonna have uh they're gonna be a little bit more expensive this over, whoops, this over here is what we call the undeveloped channels where everybody goes and hangs out, uh, goes by boat in the summertime and goes and hangs out and uh, everybody has a good time, does, you know, whatnot. Anyway, then you go, uh, then you come on out this way, you got uh, Padre Bali Park, got white cap over here, but you've got parking area. You got, uh, this is the Packery Channel, which I'll go back up that way. Let's start down this way. Uh, this all comes down and it goes into, yeah, there's, there's where it's actually changes right there. Boom. Goes to Park Road 22, which actually goes out of our county, which comes on down here and goes into Padre Island National Seashore, uh, right there. And then you've got like, I want to say it's like almost the, uh, 60 miles of beach that you can drive down now. I will tell you right now, some of that area down there is not for the faint of heart. You wanna, you gotta have four wheel drive to get down there uh, in some of those areas. Uh, so anyway, let's get back out of there. Let's go back over here. You got a boat ramp that's back over here also. Uh, right here, I think it is. Yeah, right here. Oh no, wait, Bird Island boat ramp. Uh, uh, boat ramp is right over here got a little boat ramp over there you got of course Corpus Christi we got wind all the time so you've got your uh winds of world windsurfing kite boarding whatever you want to do you you can do it over here and a lot of people do it out at the marina on on the other side so let's go back up here and let's get back into this let's make this uh and then like I said this is all white cap this is uh Padre Bali Park one of my videos, I don't know if you can see it or not, that we used to have the, uh, there used to be a pier right over here. And unfortunately the hurricane, Harvey messed it up. They have not rebuilt it yet. That's one of the things that they're working on getting done. It's getting done. This is Packery Channel here. And then this, this is where it turns into 361 going out towards Port Aransas. But then you got uh, Packery Boat Channel here. Uh, you got there is a, there you can go out there on the channel on the deal because it does go out a little ways and you can fish out there um, and then all this beach over here this here you this beach you can drive on too here there is a little spot where they don't allow it but there, you can but you can drive on this beach all the way up to right about here and then you have this is all this green area is Mustang Island State Park. Now there are some little places like this is Fish Pass right here, um, but there are some little places where you can drive uh, drive back and get back over here. Same thing over here, but this is all my Mustang Island State Park. This uh, this coming in right here, they do have. Or where's it at? Where's the entrance at for it? Right here. So there is. You pay. I do believe it is still. You do pay to get in over here to this part of the park. But there are some other little streets and little roads over here that, are, that you can go to different fishing holes uh back over that way and and whatnot and then and then mustang island 
then it just kind of comes through. Then you've got a lot. So this is, I want to say right here is pretty much the shut off. You got Port Royal, you got, which is a, a resort club and they sell. If you look at, you look that one up, they sell those. But the problem is, is that it, the HOA on it's really, really high. Uh, Cinnamon Shore South. And then, you know, this kind of takes you on into Port Aransas. And I'll do another full one on Port Aransas. So then I'm just going to kind of show you where everything's at to Corpus Christi. So Port Aransas. Now, if you're wanting to fly out, you got to fly, you know, commercially, you got to fly out of uh, Corpus Christi Air, uh, Airport over here. Where'd it go? Uh, yeah, Corpus Christi International Airport which I don't know why they call it international because you can't get you can't get a straight flight anywhere. You got to go somewhere. So you got North Beach that I showed you all that is while ago. Then it goes across. You got uh, this area over here, which is uh, Indian Point Pier. Uh, they do a lot of fishing over there. This is all shallows over here. You can actually get out there and do some weight fishing. Now they went in there and did a bunch of dredging and made some little spoil islands out here to make the fishing a little bit better. But anyway, let's keep on going. Here's Portland. You got Portland here. Uh, then it kind of goes over. Uh, this is 181, turns into 35. You go 35 or you can go 181, which will take you over to Sinton. Uh, Taft, Sinton. Sinton is where they built the new steel mill. Uh, I've heard some other stuff that may be coming that way. I, I'm not gonna say right now because I'm not real for sure. Same thing with Robstown. We got some uh, some good uh, potential coming into Robstown. Uh, this is Ingleside. You got Gregory, you got Portland Gregory, which is Gregory Portland. They call it, that's what they call it. You got Gregory Portland High School over here. Then you come over here on 361. There's a bunch of industrial. This is all a bunch of industrial over this way. Then you got Ingleside, Aransas Pass. There's Port Aransas. Then you come over here. You got Rockport, Fulton, Copano Village, Lamar, Holiday Beach. The San Jose, San Jose, San Jose Island. Uh, you can get there by boat, but there is no houses. No, this is all owned by uh, uh, by a person. Most of this is owned by somebody. They got their ranch out here. Uh, you can see it on the that's the Lady Ann channel. Uh, but anyway, that neither here nor say. But then you got, like I said, you got Rockport. So I did a video. Uh, which shows part of City by the Sea, which is kind of right on that fault line between Rockport and Aransas Pass. They kind of, kind of share the address. They, that one actually has an Aransas Pass. Then you've got, uh, you got City by the Sea. You got, I, I do believe this is right in here is Bahia Bay. And then one of them is, uh, I can't remember what they call the other one, uh, of Palm Harbor, Bahia Bay. Uh, and then they're building a new whole bunch of new stuff right over here. So this is kind of just shows you a little bit of the area of Rockport. And I will do another another full video that has just everything, you know, that, that I'll, I'll niche down and kind of get in the south side and, and, and show you what school districts are for each one of the areas on south side, Flower Bluff. Flower Bluff has its own independent I ISD, so I can, I'll, but I'll kind of show you some more stuff around Flower Bluff. Uh, kind of do another one on Flower Bluff and the island together. I'm going to do another one with, with Port Aransas. So those are just kind of keep an eye out for those. I'm going to be coming out with those. And hey, uh, like I said, if you want to know anything, put ask questions down in the comments. If you want to know where something's at or whatnot, I will be glad to answer those questions for you. Uh, at any point in time and then if uh if it warrants i get enough questions on it it warrants to do a whole nother video i'll do a whole nother video on this uh but in the meantime hey enjoy the channel like i said if you want to know what's going on in the corpus christi market hit the subscribe button click the bell notification um give me a call send me a text shoot me an email pretty soon i'm going to have a link down in there for my zoom link for uh calendar zoom link where you can uh, book a Zoom call if you want to. I jump on Zoom calls. I do. I take personal phone calls. Uh, text me. Well, however, we we will be glad to help you.
our, our team does a wonderful job here in Corpus Christi and we absolutely love being here. So, um, like I said, just, uh, hit us up. We'll be glad to help you out. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.